All right, beautiful people, it has begun. This is by far my favorite video I have ever created, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So cozy up, get a glass of Christmas cheer, and let's deck these halls together. For the fireplace, I layered a few pieces of really pretty garland, and if you've been around my channel for a bit, you might be aware of my unhealthy obsession with my fairy lights. I might start wearing them at this point. You will see at the end just how incredible they look at night. They look like little fairies dancing around I love and then this amazing star garland I told you guys I would use this for every holiday it is so pretty in person I wanted this area to feel very cozy and classic while also being glam and whimsical and also fun for the kids is that too much to ask if you see anything in this video that isn't linked please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below ordered these large ginormous bells off of Amazon. I love how vintage and classic Christmas they look. Having a little dance party, popped open the Martinelli's, listening to some Michael Buble. It is not Christmas until we have Martinelli's, Michael Buble, and my Christmas candles. No, I am not drunk. I'm just really like this. So adding a few final pieces to the mantle. I absolutely love how it turned out and I hope you do too. You guys, this blanket from Target is so incredibly soft. I just want to sleep with it all night long. It's a fur blanket. Adding a few neutral uh, pillows to the couch. This one is lined in gold and it just looks so beautiful and classy. Most of my pillows are from Target. I shared my love for these pillows in my last video. I pretty much adopted this little Sherpa tree as my pet. I love the light pink and the holly with the little pops of red. Moved them around quite a few times because I'm crazy and moving on to the tree. So I like to fill my tree with white fur to give my tree a little more fullness. It also looks like snow has fallen on it. I would love to know what colors you like to use in your home. I thought at first I should use more traditional colors. I don't know. It just feels like that's what you're supposed to do. And last minute I tore it all down and followed my true vision for what I wanted. I'm just going to use what I love. So if you need a sign to live your best and do what you truly love, let me and my nutcrackers cheer you on. Good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year, I want to hang out with my friends. Sometimes it's a little hard to explain how my brain works but my vision for this tree came from my family's love of dance if you don't know we are a family of dancers and we are blessed to get to share our love for dance all around the world I had this vision of the Nutcracker in Paris with soft colors and disco balls and bubbles and just a tree of basically what my dreams look like my vision board on a tree if you will and if you're new to my channel, my name is Rose. I post creative lifestyle content and I am crazy for the holidays. So if you love all things motherhood, motivation, and holiday magic, I would love if you subscribed and let me know you're here. Ooh, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Before decorating, I basically moved everything out to give it a blank slate and I did a deep clean, which almost seems pointless because of all the flocking and needles everywhere. So just cleaning all of those up, this candle holder we have had for years. My kids were so excited. It's just so magical and sparkly using this candle. It smells so good. I shared this in my video, <laughs> my last video. And I think you guys know my love for it. So just to let you in on how my decorating process works. I saw this yarn laying next to this tree I got at Target and I just can't leave things alone. So wrapped it around and I love how this area turned out. I love the soft colors, but it still feels so classic and warm at night. I would love to know what you guys think and we will pick it up in the morning. 
Good morning. It is a beautiful cold day here in Houston, which never happens. Santa must love me. And I am not joking when I say that I've had the vision for this table since right after Christmas last year. And it's finally here. Is this my wedding day? What's happening? So I laid down a sparkle snow blanket that I got from Target and you guys nothing can express my love for this new piece this is the papa noel vase from glitterville studios and his expression just makes me feel things in places i didn't even know i had <laughs> added some greenery i end up switching that up in just a bit i wanted more of a wintry look he was looking a little bit crazy you know a little walk of shame moment but we will fix him right up All right, so the idea that I had for this table was kind of like a little small town or a village at the North Pole where the elves would live. So I picked up a few tiny trees and some tiny ornaments. I love the little reindeer. And of course, my elves are driving a pink car with their bottle brush Christmas tree. Why wouldn't they? My kids were both so excited over this. I may keep adding to it. We have time and lots more decorating to come. Finishing off the table with some plates that I picked up at Target. Some are from last year. That candy cane one is from this year and I fell in love. It is so cute and I love how it matches the rest of the table. Flock some white leaves that I actually found in my garage. You know, you just got to be resourceful. Those sticks, they light up. I cannot wait to host Christmas dinner here with my whole family. I love how warm and cozy this turned out and I would love to know what you think. I wanted to share this crazy simple breakfast idea for you or for your kids. Just some two pancakes, some graham crackers, a bacon scarf, which kills me. Add some blueberries for the eyes, a little powdered sugar, and you have yourself a frosted snowman that the kids will love. Rudolph, my dear, the forecast ain't clear. So we if you watched my Halloween videos where I decorated my staircase, I am basically going to do the same thing here. My mom actually gave me this garland, which is crazy because it's all one piece and it ended up matching my staircase perfectly. It's crazy. I love the look that my Halloween garland had, but instead of bats and spiders, using some palms, some ribbon, and of course some fairy lights, who are we getting? You're the only one who can Save the day, say yay or nay. Now will you pull my sleigh? Oh. I was inspired by this Christmas wrapping paper I saw at Target. I got some large velvet ribbon in the same colors. I couldn't tell if I wanted to have them going in a pattern or more of an ombre look, kind of fading up. So switch them around more than I want to admit. <laughs> I tell you, decorating can feel like a bit of a circus in the beginning, but it is always so worth it. Before showing you my favorite part of the decorations, I wanted to share a fun gift idea for either your kids or a sweet gift for your mom or your best friend. I love to give my kids ornaments and Christmas books and pajamas every year for Christmas, so I thought, why not put them together? Added some fun ribbon. They were so excited to get these and just such a fun way to kick off the Christmas season. I feel like we have just been so busy lately. I am so looking forward to just slowing down and just taking in all of the magic of the season with them. Oh, I have stopped running. There is no way trying. You better loosen your belt. Drinking hot wine by the fire. I don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. 
some kind of love, my friend. The time has come. Welcome home to our fabulous new family member, Bernard. He is large and in charge and fabulous. I have gotten questions on where to find him, and he is from Home Goods. I wanted this space to be a really a moment when you walk in. Added some trees that I got from Michaels. I'm going to be sharing some really cute DIYs in my next video, so make sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified when it goes live. I cannot wait. I have had this wreath for years and wanted to jazz it up a little bit, had some bells, and then just secured it with some wire and added some ribbon so it looked like a little scarf. I wanted to take this time to say I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas season. I know the holidays can be crazy and sometimes bring on a lot of stress and emotions. Our family had a really rough one last year and it taught us just how important family is and these special moments and just the reason for this season. So if you're having a hard time, I really hope this channel can bring a little Christmas magic and positivity and just make you feel at home for a part of your day. I'm thinking of you and for everyone who has left a sweet comment or encouraging word on my post, I can't tell you how much it means to me. Just wanted to send you warm wishes and wish you a Merry Christmas. Guys, it sings. Can you believe it? Look at The moment of truth, the lighting of Bernard, and Elf's work is done for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have. So much more magic to come, but for now, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I will see you in the next one. Bye.